The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? Everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. What is this, a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. My name is uh, Irving Crawford. Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware that... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You, uh... Bye. Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. 
Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car? No, I was thinking of jogging into town. Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you, not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that, I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place... I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, fine. Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, 
I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father. Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. 